Hi, uh, the second story of hazardous marine life is about the flower urchin. Um, different from other sea urchins, flower urchin is very dangerous. And it's good to know how it looks like this, how it looks like like this. And about the structure, uh, I will explain later. So, to talk about flower urchin, we will go from sea urchin first, and then flower urchin. Their distribution, uh, the sting, symptom, first aid, and possible treatment. Sea urchin. This is a common sea urchin. Uh, when you are stung, you will see the puncture wound right on your skin, sometimes shallow, sometimes deep. Um, it is painful, yes, but it's not really painful. Um, they are mostly not toxic, uh, so usually it takes care of itself. Uh, you can find some uh, redness or swelling around the wound, and if you have a multiple a deep puncture wound, maybe you can feel some weakness or even paralysis on the limb. So, but still this is rarely lethal. Um, the common uh, first aid for sea urchins, heat. So, you immerse the affected area in hot water. It's uh, like a uh, 113 uh, Fahrenheit or 45 centis, uh, Celsius. You can uh, put your wound in hot water for a half an hour to an hour and a half. Um, to check the, the temperature of the water, you as a, a rescuer or as a buddy, you check the water with your hand. And uh, it has to be hot, but it should not give you burn. And when you put the wound in hot water, try to keep the temperature by pouring in some more hot water so that you can maintain this uh, 113 degree Fahrenheit. If you see any spines, remove them. But when you remove them, you feel they are very soft already and usually they are broken too and you have to wash thoroughly antiseptic solutions or OTC antibiotic ointment can help um, I don't know uh, if you can buy any uh, antibiotic ointment in your uh, country in Korea we sell uh, TM ointment what is it? teramycin ointment uh, Keep the wound open. Don't close it or don't cover it. Uh, seek medical pro uh, professional's evaluation with if the patient feel long-lasting pain and swelling. So you go to hospital very rarely. Surgical remover is needed. They can usually melt down on themselves. Anti-inflammatories uh, anti for pain, also physiotherapy for pain, uh, or if there's any sign of inflammation, secondary infection, maybe some uh, aura or injection of antibiotics. Beautiful picture, aren't they? Hmm. First time I didn't know what this was. Those were urchins. After they lose all their uh, contents, they look like this. Then the story goes to the flower urchin. This is the most, or do you really like the most toxic of all sea urchins? Uh, in 2014, the Guinness World Records uh, wrote the most dangerous sea urchin. 
Uh, they have uh, about three venoms, but we'll, I'll talk about it later. This is how the sea urchin surface looks like. And uh, here's the stork. And then when the mouth is open, it looks like this. And then when it bites, look like this. So the distribution, where are they? They are everywhere. They are everywhere. Whether water is hot, warm, or very cold. But most injuries from urchins happen in tropical and subtropical where they don't wear full suit. They don't uh, give a complete protection. There are uh, several venoms. One is contracting, found in 1991, or pedotoxin the next year. And there's one uh, UT841, which was found in 2001, but many uh, marine biologists believe it is uh, the same thing as contracting. There are other lectins, but this goes too far beyond uh, the scope of this uh, presentation. Symptoms. Very interesting uh, <coughs> literature from a Japanese marine biologist in 1930 who was stung by a flower urchin. His name was Tsutomu Fujiwara and uh, he wrote in his article I was shot by seven to eight petty salary on the right hand middle finger. Immediately severe pain as like um, when stung by jellyfish. Toxin was moving rapidly toward the blood vessels and to the heart. Faint giddiness and difficulty in breathing. Paralysis of lips and tongue and the eyelid came. Then Muscle relaxation in the limbs means he uh, couldn't really move too well. Uh, hardly able to speak or control facial expressions. He felt he was dying. It was above the water. It was in the boat. But just imagine it happened underwater. Um, after 15 minutes, the pain reduced. And after one hour, the pain was gone. In six hours, the facial paralysis was also gone. Uh, there are quite a number of uh, fatalities reported, but the fatality comes when you are stung underwater. And as a scuba diver, we have every reason to be very careful about this. Uh, protect yourself with full suit, gloves, well, some um, national parks, they ban the gloves. Why don't you hide, uh, hide one in your pocket and wear it on the water, and when you come back out, put it back in your pocket. Don't get stung by this one. Uh, first aid. The most important, important thing is getting out of water. He himself might not be able to do it. So buddies or rescuers uh, and any team member, we have to remove the victim out of water as soon as possible. Otherwise, he can drown. Not because of the toxin, but because of the symptoms and signs he gets after being stung. Um, and then will be uh, the supportive symptom, the same as usual sea urchin. Uh, the treatment is also uh, pretty much the same as uh, sea urchin, but we have to move him to the hospital as soon as possible. And the hospital will be ready for any artificial re uh, ventilation or CPR or any medication needed for uh, paralysis, for pain, or for any other symptoms uh, we can think of. So. In general, the hospital treatment will be pretty similar to sea urchin. 
Ah, this is some uh, extra story about edibility. I personally, a Korean, um, many Chinese and even uh, Japanese, they eat whatever is inside the urchin. They are edible gonads. In Korea, we call them uh, eggs, but they are not eggs. And those are good. When mixed with rice and put some uh, soy sauce in and mix it. They look like this when they are uh, put all together. And then we put some rice on top of it. Uh, some uh, mm, sesame oil, <laughs> soy sauce, sometimes some pepper, gems as well. Uh, the crown of thorn starfish seems like this animal really love urchins. So sometimes they stack up on each other and usually at the bottom is broken sea urchin. Sometimes uh, we can even see the sea abalone but the starfishes they just make a, a heel. And, uh, I really want to have a chance to talk about this starfish also. Okay, today uh, I talk uh, to talk about flower urchin. I also talk about the uh, sea urchin and general uh, first aid for both and uh, the symptoms and first aid and treatment. And uh, thank you very much. It was today's topic, the second story of a hazardous marine lives and uh, flower urchin was today's subject. Thank you very much for your attention and I'll see you soon. Bye.